Let f of x be defined by the following function, which best describes the graph of f of x. The first thing I did is I factored the numerator and I factored the denominator. And then I can see that I'm able to simplify those turn into a one when we're simplifying. And I'm left with x plus two over x minus one. Well, I already know there's gonna be a hole in the graph at x equals negative one. Whatever I'm able to simplify, a hole in the graph will be there. A vertical asymptote, I take the remainder in the denominator, I set it equal to zero will be at the equation x equals one. A horizontal asymptote will occur. Let's go back to the original function when the degree in the numerator is equivalent to the degree in the denominator. I'm gonna divide the leading coefficients. One divided by one is one. And if we take the numerator after we've simplified and we set it equal to zero and solve, we end up with an x-intercept at negative two, zero. So let's graph what we know. All right, so let's go through this. I'm gonna to go to where x equals one. There is my vertical asymptote. Horizontal asymptote is y equals one. I'm gonna to go to negative two, zero, and this will be my x-intercept, and that tells me then that this rational function is gonna look something like this. But don't forget, we have forgot about the hole in the graph. We identified the vertical asymptote, the horizontal, the x-intercept. The hole in the graph will occur right about here. So all of your options, A, B, C, and D, look like this, but have a different result. What does this mean? This means when we approach negative one from the left-hand side, when we approach negative one from the left-hand side, notice how there's a little negative sign here to the right of the negative one, just a negative sign. When we approach negative one from the left-hand side, what value are we approaching? Well, here's how you can figure that out. Take this value and plug it into the simplified function. So I had x plus two over x minus one, and I'm gonna substitute in a negative one. Negative one plus two is one, and negative one and negative one is negative two, and so this tells you that this is going to approach an output value or a y value of negative one half, and that looks about right. There's about negative one half as we approach an x value of negative one from the left hand side. And in fact, if we approach negative one from the right hand side, they're converging on the exact same output value or the hole in the graph for this particular function. And so even if this was a plus sign for this particular graph, it would be exactly the same. It would be negative one half. Now if you're curious, like how could that look different where they're converging at different values? Let me show you. I gave you this unique piecewise function and um, we're gonna call this function f of x. And I said the limit of f of x as x approaches one. Now if I said from the right hand side, from the right hand side, so coming in from the right, it would be approaching positive three. But if I change that and said the limit f of x as x approaches one from the left hand side, left hand side, right hand side, then it would be approaching an output value of negative two. So the y value would be approaching three and the y value would be approaching negative two as x, as x, sorry, I should say as x approaches one from the right, the y value be approaching an uh, output value of three. And as x approaches one from the left-hand side, you'd be approaching a y value of negative two.